next we'll see about the float data type. So this float will occupy four bytes. So that is whenever you declare a float variable, float x. Okay. So this x will occupy a continuous four blocks. That is, that means total 32 bits have been allocated. Of this 32, 31 will be used as a data bit and the last will be used as an sign bit. Same way, if you want to store a floating point value, there's another data type called as a double. So this double will occupy eight bytes. So that means total 64 bits have been allocated. Of the 64 bits, 63 will be used as a data bit and the last will be used as a sign. Now, what is the range of value you can store in a float and what is the range of value you can store in a double? If you take up a float, the float value ranges from 1.2 raised to the power of minus 38 to 3.4 to the power of plus 38. Same way, if you take a double value, the so double value will range from 2.3 e minus 308 to 1.7 e plus 308. This is the range of value the range of value which I can store in and float and double. Second main difference between this float and double is this float gives six digits of precision whereas double gives 12 digits of precision. Float gives six digits whereas double gives 12 digits of precision. So what do you mean by this precision? That is number of decimal digits that data type can hold. Let's take up if you declare a float variable here, float x. And if you give her x is equals to 5 divided by 3.0. Okay, so what is this 5 divided by 3? So 3 ones are 3. So 2 is the remainder. You have a 6 uh, 18. You have again 2 is the remainder. Again 6 uh, 18. 2 is the remainder. There's no end for that. In that case, this float will have a value here 1.1234. Three, four, five, six decimal digits. So you can again store the value maximum is six decimal digits. Same way, if you take a double variable, double variable, and I'll give the same expression here by giving y is equals to five divided by three point zero. In that case, y will hold a value here as one point one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve decimal digits. Okay, that is the main difference between float and double. So double can hold a bigger accuracy, uh, store more accurate values compared to an float value.